Hey, I'm filming this outdoors, and in order to get this on the shot, I'm gonna have to use my outdoor voice because you're kind of far away. But what I'm gonna show you today is how to set up your quadiction gates with a guide wire because we know out in the windy conditions, if you have crosswinds, the gates collapse to the side. If you have winds from the back, they push down pretty far. If you have winds from the front, they push back pretty far, and that's frustrated a lot of people. And I totally understand that. So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way and cheap way to add guide wires to your gates. The way it's currently set up, and I'll show you the material you need, allows you to do three things. If you have side winds, it's variable. So if you have side winds, cross winds, instead of your gate collapsing, you can set them directly out like they are now. That way they can't pull left or right. If you have winds from the front, pulling it back, you can adjust the stakes up front more. To give it more forward support so it won't pull back as much. Same thing at the winds in the back. So this setup allows you to do three things. Counter crosswinds, counter the winds from the back, or counter the winds from the front. And so let me show you the equipment and then show you quickly how I did it. Alright, so to make this happen, you're going to need two stakes of some sort. I'm gonna link out to what I got off of Amazon, real cheap. Some tent pole rope or any type of rope you'd like to use, paracord would work, and optionally some carabiners. Now this is only if you want to be able to remove them, but the way I set it up, you'll be able to tuck them away in your gates once you're done. So you could permanently tie them to your gates. But what I like to do is have options, so there you go. Oh, you're also going to need tape. Now, this is really not optional this time. When you're putting the gate together, it was optional. Here, this material is, you know, not the most durable as far as pulling. You can grab it, crunch it, everything like that. So you need to add a, a layer of tape. I'm using Gorilla Duct Tape, it's my favorite tape, to add that support area because when you make your hole, and I use a soldering iron to make my hole because it sears the edges, keeps the material together so it doesn't fray, and you put the rope in there or the carabiner in there, it's going to give it extra support so when the wind's pushing around, it's not going to start tearing into your gate even more. So. I definitely recommend getting some tape. Next up, grab about six inches of tape, rip it off, and find your spot. Now I'm going about three quarters of the way up the arch, and I'm pulling the material flat and then wrapping it around. You can do multiple layers if you want, it's up to you. Next, I take my portable soldering iron. Uh, you can use your home soldering iron, you can use whatever you want to make the hole. I do recommend this method because it does sear the edges when you make the hole and you're going to pull the material taut and then where the pole's at you want to go a little past the pole but not too far because if you go too far past the pole it'll bunch up your material when you tie the knot. And hold in there for a second let it sear the edges pull it back out. There you go you got your hole you can see through and that's a clean hole right there so it's going to be well supported. And then all you have to do, add your carabiner. Then you add your rope. Now, I measure the rope pretty simply. I don't do any specific measurements. I just grab one end, I grab a fistful, and then I leave about that much left. So about six inches. And I measure from six inches out from the carabiner all the way down to the ground. And I'm doing about two feet out. And once you have two feet out, you got that right there. And this allows you to get enough length to go down and give it support on both sides. And then also, it's enough length that when you're not using it, you can leave it attached and have enough length to tuck it into the sleeve of the gate. And that's all it takes to add a guy wire to your quadiction gates. Um, something about these stakes is when you have a knot on there, they can slip off the other way, like down. Um, I'll try to link out to ones that have a loop or something you can tie to. Otherwise, if you get these type of stakes, I would just add a little glue, um, super glue, um, possibly with a flexible hold right there, just to give it a little extra um, hold. And that's all it takes, so uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you enjoy those windy days when you're doing some gate training. Take care.